Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today we're gonna to be doing a cake topper, Halloween themed. Um, nothing like a last minute Halloween craft, right? <laughs> so um, I'm excited to do this one because if you, if you notice, you may recognize that these little bubbles for the cauldron is actually the same bubbles that I used for my, what I call my um, underwater theme uh, cake topper, right? So the SVG file is available on my website. It's theuselesscrafter.com. Um, but I love the fact that that water bubble theme has gone through so many different themes. Um, the original was an axolotl. And then I showed you what it would look like if you substituted the axolotl for more like Little Mermaid characters or just a regular mermaid or even the Our Generation um, bath toy um, at Target. Uh, we made a cake topper for that and it was just water bubbles like a bubble bath. And now with the same one, you can do this. So on this one, I'm not gonna do the shaker because I wanna show you shaker and non-shaker. So the shaker one, you can already check out that video. Let's get started on this. So like with the bubbles, I've already done the bubbles, um, all of these. The bubbles and the apples. So this is the, um, what do you call this apple? with the evil queen it's like it's contaminated I can't <laughs> I'm losing my head I don't know what I'm gonna do just yet but I you know because I did so many snow white uh themed items I made a bunch of these apples and I also went with this apple as well and you can see look at the paper the paper is gorgeous it's like a um foil paper like it has that you know metal sheen to it um so all of these pieces, they all have foam tape and they're all done the same way. I did save the two so that we can do it together. And then I just want to show you how like I, you know, this is just one of my favorites. The, the bubbles have a lot of character to them. So there's a lot of layers. And the reason why you may notice this is that this one has actually a little, uh, a little bit more in layers. And it's because I originally cut the light green I love this glitter paper usually. It's the, um, it's like a lime green from the Cricut sampler, the pastel sampler package, which is on sale, it's $5. I absolutely love it. I bought a ton so that I never run out. Um, I think my problem is that I also use the white glitter. So it just kind of um, blended in with each other, like it kind of clashed. So I recut it in this regular lime green and so for some of these I just doubled up I wanted to give that extra layer so you can't see it but it's there you can kind of see the colors depending on what angle you're looking at it um, so I figured what the heck I already cut it and it, adding layers almost never looks bad I don't want to say never never <laughs> because there's always gonna be a case but for the most part Having layers just gives you that, you know, extra dimension. It looks good. Uh, so anyway, let's get started. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, so we'll figure out by the end which one we're gonna use. And you can see like even this one, the lights reflecting on it. It's really, really, really pretty. Okay, um, all right, so here is my one and here's my other one. So let's break it down and let's start with the base. And I always, you know, I just like my foam tape. Oops, gotta flip this over. Wait, what am I doing? That's the bottom layer. Flip this one over. Um, I love having that little layer in there um, popping up. I, you know, I'm just not, I always say this, it's personal preference, um, you know, with the colors that you use, the paper that you use, um, and also like how busy it is. Uh, I tend to like it on the busier side. I, I recognize that fault. <laughs> and then um, I also like it very layered. So I, you can use the same amount of layers, but if you don't use your foam tape, it's still gonna look very flat. And so I don't like, um, I, I just don't like the flat look. All right, so you know, I always worry about the foam tape that I use from um, the Dollar Tree. So I also will add either Barely Art, 
the glue or I'll use my glue gun. Um, I do want to talk about the glue gun for a minute. So the other day I was just scrolling through my Instagram and Shore Bonder, which I love their, um, I do use their glue guns. They had a post that said, put your, um, put your glue gun, like sticks, not your glue gun, but the sticks in the freezer. And for whatever reason, it being cold and then getting heated while, while it's plugged in, it doesn't drip. So I have the glue sticks frozen in my freezer, in my art room. Um, so when this stick runs out, I'm gonna use it from the beginning. So I couldn't pull this one out because it was already like totally in. So we're gonna test this out. If that's the case, I, I mean, first of all, I've never heard of that. So I'm kind of disappointed that no one, I mean, I don't know, if you're shore bonder and that's your tip, I feel like that should be in the directions. Like it should be on the label. But anyway, <laughs> just just me, right? Um, that's what I would do. But if that is true, I'm going to be yelling this news, like screaming it out every day, all day in my stories. <laughs> I, um, I hate, I hate all those like little drippy glue strings. It drives me insane. So I will be happy to get rid of that. That will be so amazing. So I'm really looking forward to trying that out. Also, while we're gluing this down and we have downtime. So you see this one has an extra layer. You can't see that glittery um, lime colored paper, but it just adds to it. It's gonna add when we put this all together. We can put some, maybe some bubbles in the back and it's just really gonna create that, um, the depth that we're looking for, that I'm looking for. <laughs> um, okay, I think this one goes here. And this, I just love this green. Um, okay, let's talk about Christmas really quickly. If you haven't signed up, so you know I'm on the Barely Art Design team and um, they are having, they're organizing a Craftmas. So basically what Craftmas is, you sign up on their webpage, so it's Barely, barely dot art and um when you sign oh did i peel that off i don't even know what i'm doing anymore okay so when you sign up you will this is the sign up period so everyone signs up then they gather all the names they pair everyone up so i don't know who i'm gonna get you're gonna be paired up with someone and then the two of you guys are gonna make contact figure out what kind of ornament the other person would love, and then you make it, and then you'll exchange it. You'll, you know, both ship it to each other. It'll be super cute. I can't wait to find out who I get paired up with. And then, if you wanna be extra, you can duplicate your ornament, send it to Barely Art, and it will be entered into a drawing for a Cricut, I believe it's a Cricut maker that they're giving away. Um, I don't even know if I'm eligible to win one, but I wanna just share mine because I have an idea of what I wanna do. I'm gonna send it anyway. Um, all right, so you see that? I love this thing. All right, we have one more to do, and then we'll piece this together. Um, so yeah, now the other thing is, if you do, if this sounds fun, which it does, right? <laughs> um, then uh, when you fill out the form, just make sure that you put down, the, there's a section that asks you uh, who referred you. And if you can put down the useless crafter, I am on a team with a few others. I will make sure that you know all my teammates because if you were worried about a conflict because you want to support someone else, um, you can just see if we're on the same team, then it's all good. It doesn't matter who you put down but you can only put down my team. <laughs> so anyway, I hope we win. It's a friendly contest between the design team members. And so I just thought that would be fun. What am I doing? I'd rather use this. And if you're wondering why sometimes I use my glue gun versus why I use my Barely Art glue, um, 
I will use the glue gun when it's sort of behind and it doesn't matter that it's so hot that it warps the paper or changes the paper in any way. So this is my backmost layer. It's just faster to squeeze it out. I know it's hot, there's a lot of glue, it's gonna stick. Um, all right, so let's put this down. Um, so my top layer, especially if my top layer is a light glitter cardstock or not glitter cardstock, then I definitely want to use Barely Art Glue because sometimes it will scorch the paper and you will see the marks from behind. Blue drippings. I love all the details of these water bubbles. I really, I mean, it's, I know it's my design, but I really love it. <laughs> um, I do a bunch of cake toppers, but anytime that I, you know, I can make an SVG file for you guys and make it a template, I am, that's now on my mind. I will try to do that. Um, and the other one, after I put this on, I'll show you. Uh, the theme is totally different. It's princess, um, but I feel like you could do a lot of things with it. I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. Oh man. Did I put this on the wrong side? But Oh, what is going on here? I literally was like not thinking it was not working for me <laughs> all right here we go that's down let me show you and it's because I'm so proud of these SVG files look at these these two are the same but so different right the different um, just the colors, the characters, totally changes what it looks like with banner, without banner, but it's from the same file. And um, just kind of like this one, kind of show you um, how to go about making those different changes and um, how it makes a really big difference. So, all right. And you can always check that out on my website, theuselesscrafter.com. And then, what else? Well, you know, I'm working on the cardstock, the skin cardstock paper. I'm super excited about that. We will be doing an early, like, pre sale, um, taking early orders. There is a limited supply, so it just it is what it is. When I sell out, I sell out. Um, but it's going to launch in November and I'm super excited about it. I'll show you in a second. I'll pull out the, the colors so you can see. Okay. All right, well, that's drying because everything's dry. Let me close up my glue. Move that aside, clean this up a little bit. Well, not really clean it up. I'm just moving it aside. <laughs> All right, let me show you. I think I had I put it back. Oh man, where did I put? Oh, here it's right here on my table. Look at the pretty, pretty colors. So I'm actually going to match up all of these colors with a character so that you guys can really see it. Um, and some of these colors I've been using, but you can kind of see the range and I'm super excited because if you've ever done this um, it's really hard to find the right color tone um, for your projects so I'm super excited to to show you with my own characters with my own projects so that you can see and then you can figure out which ones you like all right so now everything is glued down this one I ended up not using oh I didn't switch it out I left it in and so here we go. So I would put, let's put these two together. And because it's really thin, I'm just gonna glue it down. There's not gonna be any space in between because there's just not enough space to put down a foam tape square. Okay, 
Okay, so we're just gonna put that down. And I'm gonna glue it down kind of, I think, like this. So a little bit showing so that the bubbles go around, kind of fits right here. So on this side, let's see, I'm just gonna put glue down. So now let's figure out, I was thinking of putting like a poisoned apple. My goodness, that's what it's called. Well, I don't, I don't even remember what I, I think I called it a contaminated apple earlier. Um, all right, so we can put that in there and kind of to make it symmetrical, symmetrical or like balanced, um, maybe we can put this apple over here and then we can do all these bubbles right here like this. Hold on, I got glue string all over this thing. It's such, it's so pretty. Um, so maybe we can even put this behind and this kind of like popping up like this. And you can never have too many bubbles. So maybe this one can go even behind and this can go on top this can go on top top and then look at these bubbles right here actually that feels unbalanced maybe like that maybe like this I think I like that. All right, so we like that. Let's undo this a little bit and start from the back. And this one, I'm gonna glue from behind. So I'm gonna put it down here. Oh, jeez. And since I have a glue string totally down there. I'm going to try to cover that up on my next layer. Um, well, I think I'm going to do that because we're going to put this up here like that. So on this one, let's put a little bit more here. This one I'm gonna put, maybe I'll do double on this one and have it really sitting up like that. Oh, that's too high, what was I thinking? So you see, all right, so I'm gonna want this to be, so let me pull this up for now so you can see what it looks like already. Right, there's just, there's a lot of layers to it, I love it. Okay, so this one we're gonna put right around here because the apple's gonna go over here-ish. Maybe I have it even sticking up from here, so it's gonna be really high. Um, 
So let's try to do that. So I'm adding the foam tape here. I'm going to make sure it's really down. And then when this is gluing, I'm going to stick this pen underneath just to keep it. Actually, it's not even high enough, but I'm going to keep it so that it's supported and it dries like up here like this. And so that's going. Um, let's see. We want to put this one maybe right around there. This one in front this apple maybe right around there even and then this one right here I feel like that's very balanced but we can look at this some more we still have we can do it more like this so there's not much showing from the middle which normally would be the shaker so we could do that okay so this is down I want to give this a little bit more support, so I'm wondering if I just put this. I think this one is good right here, so let's glue that down. so pretty okay um so this one is good let's put some foam tape on this one and get going on that oh my gosh this thing's driving me crazy And I always like things at an angle because then it's purposely at an angle so it doesn't feel like it's crooked. <laughs> um, I think over here I need to put something to hold this little guy up. Um, actually, no, he's pretty good. Maybe just, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit under here and hopefully not break anything. All right, so that's all good. I think the only thing left is this apple. And this apple... Oh, this one's not down. Let's put this guy right here. And then this apple will be right there. Maybe right there. I'm going to put some foam tape on here and and a little bit down here. That should keep it more balanced. All right, I'm going to do double down here. There, that will stay. 
Oh my gosh, so cute. Uh oh, did I glue? Shoot. Some of this got down onto my table. There we go. Okay. So cute. Um, let's see. I have I can see some glue strings. Okay. So all that's left is the apple and then the dowel. So let's put down our glue. Pretty cute. Okay, let's look at our dowel. So our dowel, so the um, the cauldron is pretty balanced, right, with the two sticks. So if we go down the middle, it, this should be pretty straight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over and, oh, this guy is not down. flip this over and I'm going to use this mat to help me keep it straight so here are my two I'm going to keep it like this so this is on the line here's my two lines so right in the middle of these two would be right here so I'm going to put the glue down right here And to make your cake topper more stable and secure, what you can do is you can cut another cauldron and glue it back here. Then it would be sandwiched in between and it would give you a lot of stability. Now, normally what I like to do is I like to weld this round part to the bottom so that it's one big piece. I didn't do that in this case only because I didn't know exactly what I wanted the cake topper to look like. So I wanted to give myself some flexibility, but that's the only reason a lot of times like you'll see the back of my cake toppers, give me a second. It'll be one whole piece like this. So it's a copy of the back one, so the wooden dowel is in between. So this makes it super, super secure, right? Um, and I did that with this as well. And then I flipped it so that you can have a glitter background, which looks really pretty. Okay. All right, let's lift this up. Yay, it's still pretty stable though. See, look, it's not gonna flop over. So cute, right? Happy Halloween. <laughs> Thank you so much for all your support. Getting to 30,000 on Instagram was amazing. Um, and I have a lot of cool things uh, to close out the end of the year and so many exciting projects for next year. So I hope you stick with me. Um, have a great happy Halloween and I will see you on my next video. Bye.